good night all is special to all of us at Faisy Tipton. It's it's always a thrill when you see a year-end sales graduate like her go on to perform the way that she's performed at the highest levels. You know, I think that she kind of epitomizes everything you're looking for in a race horse. She's she's got brilliance, she's got pedigree, uh, she's got confirmation, she's the, the complete package. So Phasic October has been a really good sale to our team. We've um, we found a lot of really nice horses there, but this filly's pedigree really stood out. And when I saw her, she was just very athletic, um, bred by Stone Street, one of the best breeders in the country. With Goodnight Olive, um, right away when I saw her and she came into the barn, she reminded me a lot of Ghost Zapper. I was lucky enough to be around that horse quite a bit when I worked for Bobby Frankel. And uh, every race she came out of, she kept getting better, stronger, faster, you could see in her works. It gave me a lot of confidence to keep raising the bar, what I'm asking her to do. She was injured a couple times and came back from it. Has a ton of heart like her father. She was brilliantly fast from when she was two till she's five. And she's really never let us down. Obviously her Breeders' Cup is a memory that, you know, we'll always have. Um, I think that was just such a loaded field, including Echo Zulu, who ran, you know, ran second that year. And for her to do it so easily and Irad to just sort of gear her down at the end was so much fun to watch and enjoy that, that moment. Good night, Olive! Six in a row and a Breeders' Cup champion! Good night, Olive is very similarly made to her, her sire, Ghost Zapper. She's very deep through her middle. She's a very well-made horse, fast, a beautiful hip and head on her. And uh, internally, she's just built with a huge heart. She's taken every track with her, wherever I train her or race her. And uh, she's really one of the best dirt fillies I've trained. I think what made her a great racehorse is definitely her demeanor. She is, um, very calm, won't turn a hair in the paddock, all business until she's not. You know, she, she knows exactly where the wire is and what her job is. She's owned and raced by, by friends of ours. Uh, you know, Jay Hanley, Team Hanley, and Steve Lehman and the First Row Partners. So it's been, it's been really enjoyable to watch the connections and, and to kind of share the success with them. The ownership group has thoroughly enjoyed um, the ride that she's taken us on. They really realize how special she is. They're enjoying it, they're soaking up the moment. And I think getting to watch her go through one final race, the Breeders' Cup, and knowing that she's gonna sell at Night of the Stars afterwards, um, just enjoy the weekend and you know, try to, try to take it all in one last time. She's in full work, but a nice spacing into the Breeders' Cup, and I'm just hoping she goes out a winner. Whoever buys a good night olive really has a, 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 an amazing opportunity with her in terms of her breeding prospects. She could produce a sprint champion, she could produce a classic winner. The sky's the limit and the opportunities are, uh, are endless in terms of who you can breed her to and, and what you might be able to produce. Goodnight Olive is, is everything you're looking for in a, a dirt broodmare. I, I just couldn't imagine there being a better profile. Go Sapper is becoming such a prolific broodmare sire. He's the broodmare sire of Justify and 35 other stakes winners already. And it's a great page. She was bred by Stone Street. Um, I think she's really a collector's item.